Hey folks, welcome back to Manor Lords, where we're barking about firewood. And it'd be nice to get the church in today. I think that is a worthy goal. What do we got going over here? We are building. Well, let's watch this for a little bit. In fact, we have a cinematic mode in this game. Control C takes the HUD away, but it does more than that. It really smooths out all of your motion, so it takes away the, the jerkiness of trying to roll your mouse across the mouse pad and smooths everything out. Let's land the drone there. <laughs> yep, now we can take off in the drone and oh, we could have so much fun with this. Anyway, I'm supposed to be uh, watching him build a saw pit. There we go. I'll just sit here for a little bit. Actually, I'll what happens if I kick the speed up? Will it let me? I don't think it'll let me in this mode. Oh, it will. Okay. Because one thing we do need to do is get more logs in. So, need more logs, need more timbers. So, this has got to get built. And need to concentrate on getting materials in. Because it's going to take quite a bit to build that church. And when I'm watching her work so fast, I kind of feel like I want to talk really fast, too. <laughs> just, just naturally. Anyway. They will roll logs in right where they're sitting right now and then get down underneath in the pit and saw up and down and cut planks out of it. Kind of a nifty design. She is almost done. Oh, we have a little lean-to on the side. Okay, with that, we're finished. All right, Control-C gets us out of here. I could definitely take us for a tour across the entire map and enjoy every second of it, but that's not going to get a church built. <laughs> what is going to get a church built are planks <laughs> so where's the church right in there we need 20 planks we need five logs one log makes four makes five planks so we need four logs just for that so i need nine logs we have 10 so it's possible though i'm sure i will find plenty of other things to spend those logs on we have one family that is building i think for the moment well, let's put that family in here no more building for a little bit. Let's get logs coming in. Let's get planks being made. And that is Yorg. That means that is Endris. Okay. Let's assign Endris. Well, roll of the dice. Endris to the logging camp. Endris, Endris, Endris will now exclusively work for the logging camp. When there isn't a family logging, Endris will not do anything. That is the downside to assigning to the logging camp. But while it is working, or especially when you've got multiple families and someone's always doing something, who's in here right now? we got two people cutting trees, falling a tree, and guiding an ox. So someone's going to get the ox and come back and grab whatever tree just dropped. Okay, but that will bring logs just directly back and forth, back and forth, leaving the other ox where who is right over here. Uh, Thomen, Thomen, I'm going to go with Thomen. Yep, something like that. Is now being led by Barbara to, I guess, work on the next project, whatever that is. No, no, it wouldn't be that, because I just took off, I, I've unassigned families. Where is she going, I wonder? Uh, guiding an ox to somewhere. Maybe she, no Barbara in here curious what that means unless you got the assignment before i flip the switch there that could be it granary we have nobody working there let's go this way where is a barbara uh not that house we have anybody in this house we do and i know we have well, at least one family over here people no barbara's in there okay so what is the other house that has a, turn that off, has a family right here. And people, there she is. She's guiding an ox to do what? Carpenter. Carpenter. Oh, she is grabbing a log to make some planks. Okay. So she's going to hook up, drag it on through. The, just what I was hoping they would do. Pull right between the buildings and slide over and drop it off. Perfect. Whereas these guys are off to uh, to go and get more trees. There's an, the ox for the 
for the uh, logging camp. What are the rest doing? We're waiting. What does waiting mean? We are just sitting here because only one person. Interesting. Crafting. So you are... Yorg is crafting. I wonder what that means. She's guiding the ox. So she dropped off the log. He's going to go over there and cut it. That must be what's going on. And the third person doesn't have much to do until we give them something to do in their backyard. So they're just sitting there waiting. Aha! Uh -huh. And watching how the you know the little details about how all these things work. But um, last month, end of last episode, I was watching as I was editing. We went from June, just rolled into July at the last second, which clipped off all of the green up above. Left us at the negative 4, negative 3 down below, which is a negative 1. Left us at 49, and we didn't get a new family because we weren't at 50% or more. So we just missed it by 1. That was kind of frustrating. So hopefully next month we will get a family in. Um, so we're waiting for these guys to do their things. I guess let's kick the speed up a little bit. And just bring in some building materials, basically. So we're going to make planks. We're going to bring more logs in. We're going to cut into planks. We're going to bring more logs in. And little by little. We've got our trading post over here. And what I didn't, didn't do last time was I didn't actually connect it to the King's Road. So let's do that before I get someone writing in saying, you know, you didn't connect that to the King's Road. <laughs> Not that you guys ever do that. <laughs> okay, put that one in there. I see we have kind of a natural road over here. Interesting. Boy, the grass is really moving now that we're going so fast. So we're going to roll into August faster than I normally do, but we do need those planks and those timbers to do what I want to do this episode. So we'll go just a little bit further, and it sure is windy. Anyway, slow back down. Z. I think that's another lightning storm coming in. Maybe this time we'll catch a... Uh, yeah, that's definitely a lightning storm coming in. When it just rains, it just gets dark, and it, uh, it just starts to rain, but we don't get all the wind. Wind seems to be connected to the lightning. This is a little message that will pop up all the time when you load your one log in over there. It's, it's something that I assume is going to be uh, fixed one of these days. It, it's an unnecessary message that... that uh, does it tell me right there? It didn't. I thought something said one of one when I flashed over that. There? Oh, I was seeing that. Okay. But click on this. It tells you that some... No? Wait a minute here. Click on this. There it is. Tells you that something's been loaded in and the, and the uh, storage is full. So, um, yep. Yep, it is. Anyway, I was playing with the idea of what to do over here. Um, I'm eventually going to want a hitching post over here upgraded into a small... I don't know what the upgrade is called. We'll call it a stable. So that we can have a couple horses associated with this. And this guy... I still questioning whether I want him there or not, so let's just move him. Though, if I don't have a family working, then he's going to sit here without a hitching post. He's going to be in the in-between state of relocating. I'll leave him alone, trying to get back to him. How are we doing here? We are 11 and 10, and we're not running faster, because I kind of want to watch the lightning. But, log is there. Who is let's go to people? People... Crafting, so Barbara is on her way. Barbara. She's on her way to go cut the log up. Okay. How are the loggers doing in that case? Right over here. Grab this. So that's a great tool, the, the people tab of all the businesses. All the, the I'll, I'll call them businesses. They'll let you know what everybody is doing. Debranching a tree, debranching a tree, and guiding a ox. So going to grab more logs, bring them in. Perfect. So, not quite ready for the church yet, but boy, it looks like it wants to wants the lightning. I'm kind of waiting for the lightning to, to start. Is it? It might. There it is. Yes, the lightning does come with the wind. Okay. Now, if I can just catch right there. So, we'll see. One of these lightning flashes, maybe I will pause while editing and see if I can't get a nice crisp picture. If that never happens, that means that I was never able to accomplish it. Let's spin around a little more, maybe see it from this direction. 
Now, lightning never happens when you're looking, and it does seem to happen a lot at the perimeter of the map. I've noticed that. It tends to be out over here, except for that one that hits that house right there. But let's look over here just for... There we go. Hopefully, that's the one I was able to, to play with there. Anyway, so lightning is happening. We can go ahead and speed things back up again with X, Z, and X. Get these guys brought in. 15, so five more planks. So until then, actually, slow back down. We're close enough now that we can... Uh, we'll be able to get that in this episode. So what else is there to be thinking about? Um, we want to get the church in. We want to, I want to move the hitching posts around a little bit, but I need a family to do that. Um, we do soon want to be, at least have the flexibility of moving into and doing some of the, the mining, whether it be clay or iron or stone. We might put a family in, grab 20 stone, pull them out, grab some clay, pull them out, grab some iron, pull them out and go and do things with it rather than full blown industries, you know, right from the beginning. Because we don't have enough families to pull that off. But we do have enough families to float around and do things. So let's play with the idea of mining. Mining pit. He just drops right into the ground. So something like this. Get in here where we can see. He'll just drop right in like so. Let's see what it what it does when I drop it. There. You can see the, how the graphic changed. So that will develop as a pit to go down and grab the clay out of the ground. Same thing over here. Um, don't really see it until you hit this guy, and then it shows up. So, where is... Hmm. Can I tell where the the opening is? Not That's not it. Right here. I really can't. Okay. I'd like to have the opening facing out here. Let's see if that is the opening. Right there. Nope, it isn't. So we'll have to row it in from this direction. Okay. So we'll leave those. Those are done. They didn't take any logs, but they are going to take some labor when we get to that. This will take some logs. We've got a stonecutter's camp. There's two logs to run that. And it will commit those logs. But I think we've got enough logs to do what we need to do over there. So these stones over here will eventually be uh, worked away. Kind of like the stones in Ostrov. They'll, they'll chip away at them until they're gone. Then we'll be able to build something in this space. So we'll drop you in there. We've committed two logs. That'll be fine. But that way, when I'm not thinking about what's going on, whoever is building will just be out there taking care of those things and won't even think much of it. But we've got 15 planks. We're almost ready to set a church somewhere. Where does the church get set? Let's think about that. We are lightning. We're coming into our province off the map from here. Let's go into cinematic mode. Think about that. You're a traveler. You're coming on in to, uh, into this land. And a lot of these trees are going to be gone because it's going to be farm fields here. So this will all be open up in farms looking at our town over here. Come around the corner of the trader. Actually, you'll probably see it all from right here, this bend. So I'm thinking the church needs to be kind of right in here, right? Let me pull out of that mode so I can point at something. Though we're going to have buildings. We're going to have, you know, our boulevard and tier, tier 3 housing through here. So maybe this bend, maybe the entrance comes off of here to the church. Seen from here. I like that. 15 and 9. I need 20 and 9. So, we will set the church maybe something along these lines. Which means moving that stable, huh? Or the uh, hitching post. Okay. Let's think about doing that. Let's, well, we're, we'll have to uncommit a family. We'll uncommit the loggers. Let the planks continue to be made. We will take these folks out, and let's get a couple of hitching posts moved around. Let's move this one to over here, so that when we're ready for horses, we'll have a building sitting in place. No, that's right. I don't think you can relocate them. 
I don't think you can relocate them. So it's, there's going to be an ox coming out of here because there's an ox connected to this one. So that doesn't work. So where to move them to? Hmm. I'm kind of thinking a stable at each end of town. So there's one easy to get to, whatever's going on. So maybe just in this curve somewhere. Maybe it would look good connected to this camp. Though, what does farming do? Uh, pull out of there, C and Emmer. Okay, so that's all going to be fields. This is probably going to move. So that doesn't work. We could put two hitching posts over here. Unless the farmhouse goes there. Now, I think the farmhouse is over here. How big is the farmhouse? Farmhouse is there. He does kind of fit. Let's see. Undo snap. And spin you around like so. He could do something like that. Yeah, or even just... Something like that. Yeah, he can be in there. So, we could put two hitching posts in here two stables and they would look good together one will have oxen one won't okay so let's go that route you are going to move over and i'm going to guess that this orientation hmm that's just it it's going to give us a building like this i want the roof to be aimed in this direction how do you accomplish that is it like that I guess we will just have to find out. Maybe we'll build one. Sure, let's do one to see what happens. I ran it looking this way with points on the ends. So let's take you up to the highest priority and get that family working on that. Do we have the planks yet? We don't. So we still have a little bit of, of time to kill. So with the hitching post and that orientation, we're just going to move this one over, which dropped a log right there. I believe it's a free move, so threw a log away there we're gonna drag a new log over here and that should be fine hopefully we grab uh, this this ox right over here and get to work soon um, while we're waiting again thinking more of the future more housing is gonna go where hmm I like this curve I'm trying to think of what to do with it let's get right above and Continue pulling in. Something like that. Stop. Well, that's where's the end, right there. Take you into there as well. So following that till it unsnaps, I guess it's right there. And taking well, that's not what I meant, but we'll take you kind of through. I see kind of a natural track in the uh, in the grass right there. Maybe we'll just try and follow it. I'm not sure where this is going to go, but I didn't know where these were going to go, and they do seem to be uh, just conforming and becoming part of what we're doing. So we could get some interesting houses in here. Um, was there a noise a little bit ago? A, a family started moving in. I didn't even see that. I watch other people's series and it's frustrating watching these messages come up and they just keep on working. But that's that, uh, you know, that, that, that YouTuber's blind spot. When I'm talking and then pointing and trying to, to have a conversation with myself, I don't see anything else. Just tunnel visioned right there. And I don't even know what's happening up there. So I can't get angry with them because it's so easy to do exactly what it's frustrating watching them do um new families moving in which means exactly uh that one see as you pass over they all get lines so you know dotted lines around it so which one is it but if i pull away no it, i was hoping the lines would stay can if i move around and then do that again it's one of these two it is one of those two. Tab? They've all got people in them. One of these two. I guess it's this one. That's where my camera wants to zoom into. So we'll go with that. New family right there. Click on you and peoples. And waiting and waiting. Versus this one. Peoples. Resting at home. Here it is. They'll rest for a few days before they jump out and start doing things. They are not assigned. Let's get a family signed back into the logging camp. 
So right there, get logs coming in. We still only have uh, 15 planks, but I'm guessing you are about to... Well, you're going over here for something, but there's no log over here. So someone needs to deliver a log. Okay. So while that is happening, we just set up this new little area here. And as we've seen, we do have lightning storms. So I want to get in the habit of always placing more and more wells. So let's see what that looks like over here. We already have one right there. It'd be nice to get one somewhere near this intersection. I think we're committing the inside of this to housing. So... See if we can get one into this, this tree over here. Under the cover, under the shade of the branches. Is that possible without taking the tree out? Yeah, good. So you're going to be there. And... We're now getting quite a walk from these houses to the market. So I need to think about maybe, maybe markets go in this little corner right here. But if I were to set that in right now, the next market stall that builds is going to be over here and not over here where it really should be. Um, is that where it should be? You know, I don't know that answer. We're not ready for tier twos yet. And there's going to be tier twos and tier threes. So maybe we are building out here for a little while. All right. Let's make this our next stall then. Although there is one tiny little space over here. Let's do this one first and see what it is. You, let's see here, right there, marketplace. So if I were to, well, let's grab right there. Pull down, pull to there, to there. We can get one little stall in there. All right, we'll do that. And now that I think about it, Where's the firewood stall? You guys. People. You are the firewood cutters. You're over here. You work right there. Wouldn't that be a great place for a firewood stall? <laughs> it really would. Let's play with moving. We've got the ability to relocate you. And we do have a family doing the relocating. So you. Let's move you over. Now, everyone's got to walk a little more now. But where's the big... There's the entrance of the stall. That makes sense right there. Just as people come into town, they can grab their firewood on their way in to, to uh, heat up their, their home. Uh, yeah. You, you complete the story. Okay. So we are putting in the stable. Or the hitching post that's going to become a stable. We now have this little intersection free to take off and do something with a church over here. You need to relocate too. And I want one over at this end somewhere. So, I want to look in. Maybe he's like right in here so we don't block our view too much. Okay, so you're going to be over here. Let's grab you. You, relocate. So this family is just going to be doing a lot of re... Oh, that's right. I'm not going to do that until this builds. That's right. Okay, and they're almost done. There's the little hammer up there and the little circle going around it. Don't go, don't go away, guys. Just, just finish it up. A few more taps and you're done. Or speed you up and you're really done. Okay, that's done. Let's go ahead and upgrade you. First thing, upgrade and highest priority. So let's get that going. Get you upgrading. It's going to take a couple of our planks, but we will get there eventually. Two more logs and that'll be done. And where am I at? Twenty some minutes into this, I think there's plenty of time to get that church up. So we're going to move the firewood stall, although I did just tell him to do that, but the firewood stall, yeah, let's let's take you down one notch. I hate to do that to you, though I think you were already kind of starting to, to smooth the ground a little bit. This one needs to be, or can I do that? How is that done? Do I do it from here? Supplies. There you are. You're the highest priority right now. Let's get firewood available again. Did these guys who just moved in actually get their firewood? Well, firewood stall supply... Oh, food. Right there. So, fuel stall supply. Enough fuel in the marketplace stalls. Did that do it to everyone? It did it to everyone. Right now, the game's saying, Uh-uh, you guys don't have any firewood. It's, it's dealing with the supply. How much is available in the market system to handle all the houses? So, right now, it says there's none. So, with so few houses, this is a great time to mess everything up <laughs> we, we're not going to do much damage right now you were dragging over to work on this okay you were this one came up in the queue before i reset all the priorities that's what's up 
Anyway, we're going to put houses in here. We're going to put a well over here. Let's put a little market over here now that we've given this one a little higher priority than this. So this will be the next area they start building in. There. Uh, residential and market. Yeah. So what to do here? It doesn't like getting into tight little spaces. Let's do that. If I do something like that, what happens? One stall. I want at least three over here. So if I go here to there, there's two. We're getting there. Um, if I were to like do a diamond there and see if it'll complete. Okay, we're, now we're at five. Now we're at three. That'll give us firewood, clothing, and food over in this direction. I like that. You're right there. Bunch of little markets is what I want to explore with this, this build. So you're going to be over there, and we're going to get... We're going to get housing in here. I'm just thinking about that market. What if we wrote it around that? So that wherever the stalls go in, they could face out onto a road front uh, exposure. So let's play with that to right in the corner and over. And let's tighten that one up. Control like that. Yeah. You're going to be there. And there's our little market area. So now if we play with housing while I'm stalling and waiting for that to happen. I'm also kind of stalling too because the game has got an update coming. I don't know if it's in days or weeks. I get the sense a lot is going to change. And I'm kind of wanting to not be too deep into here before that happens. In case I miss out on some of those changes because I advance beyond that uh, that that beginning point of whatever that change would have been. So I'm kind of debating whether to just keep trudging on and get as much done as I can. Or, or just an, enjoy the bird song for a couple of episodes and see what happens. Anyway... If we do put, when we do put houses in here, what does that mean? And if I'm correct, where you put your first row, your first run, is where the houses are going to face. So if I were to put it on this road here and click, uh, pull back right there and click, then it would aim them at a kind of a diagonal like that. Whereas if I allow it to naturally pull all the way over and click and then complete it now we're parallel with these guys so it helps you to to know how you're going to aim things in here well let's set that up again just out of curiosity minus there's six hmm these would make great chickens and goats i guess all of them would maybe what if, what if we carved this out and left those trees we don't need big backyards, apparently, for the chickens and goats. They're passive. They'll just add to the system. They won't need big spaces to to increase how much they add to the system. So if I were to pull back to here, well, it, it won't let me. How do I do that? So, yeah. I wonder how I could force that, other than putting a road in. Um, what if I went here first? You... Can I get to there? Oh, I can. Go there. And then here. I can kind of... Uh, there must be some point in there that allow me to do it. I'd love to be able to clip this corner off without putting a road in. I guess I could put a road in and then take the road back out. Maybe that's what we'll do. And then we'll get them this direction. We'll get some shorter backyards in there. Just concentrating on the housing and a, a little backyard. And still have a little bit of green space left. How are we doing? I am... Am I paused? I didn't even realize that I had done that. Okay. Speed it back up. Got some catching up to do. I had no idea I was paused. So, yeah. All right. So, you're going to go into high gear and start moving things around so where are we at we're now at 14 logs up there we're at 13 timbers and we have got a firewood stand great and we're loading it up and now it's a lot closer for them to look at that look at that oh they're so happy okay and then we're going to get back to this one this oh phew, it's in <laughs> okay so aimed with the can i do it from here the connection points there and there gives us this orientation okay that's what i wanted to know so planks are 
still being worked on. That's in that direction. So let's move this one now. And what does that mean? What we're going to do? We're in this area somewhere. I think right in here. We can finish the stone camp. Let's slow back down again. Where am I? Z. And so I can think. Let's get you put in. We're going to move you. That's what we're doing. And so it's this direction. Actually, it's that direction. If I want to get this going in that orientation. And coming into town, seeing the big tall buildings there, the big tall buildings there. If this was tucked up into here, it wouldn't be a distraction at all. Okay, I like that. You're going there. You are now at a highest priority. Whatever they were off to go and work on next, they'll come back. But we did get the stone cutters camp in. We're not going to use it yet, but it is in place. And there we are. Throw some families in. Advanced doesn't really do much. It says it's disconnected from the road network, which isn't a big deal. It That's fine. We could connect it if we want to, but they will still use it just the same. Um, pull off of there. Sure, we'll do something like that. And let's smooth that out a bit. There we go. Just like that. Perfect. So that's there. We are running slow again. We need to speed her back up. All right, so you are placed and ready. We'll get that upgraded as well. And this one has got livestock. It's got Toman in there. And we're going to put another one right over here. And it'll look like it's just part of this trading system. I think that's the best way to do that. So you... I wish I could click on that and say, make me another one. I've got to go find it each time. That is the wrong... I see that square when I'm trying to find that square. And my mind just says, okay, there it is. It is not. There it is. So you need to rotate like this if we want them parallel to each other. And how I move this way. So... Moving your building around is the left click. Moving the map around is your center click. Which drove me nuts at the beginning too. Because most games it is the right click and hold. And then that moves your map around. So I right click and everything goes away. So yeah, every game has got its own set of controls. Let's turn you the opposite. I think it's the opposite. So they, they open up into each other. Okay. What was that noise? When we're in this mode, we don't get to see the messages. We're in August, I, I take it. Let's put you right there and pull out of it. Slow down. What just happened? A bandit camp was sighted. Ooh. All right, what does that mean? We're over here. These guys are there. <clears throat> They've got... And let's just drop into cinematic mode there. There we go. Oh, look at this place. There is an old broken down windmill kind of a, an artifact. I believe if you get this province, it will allow you to rebuild these structures. So that must be... Does that look like a, a stable? That might be a stable or some kind of a small house. Interesting. But these guys have moved in over here. Whoa! I scrolled my wheel and it took off like crazy. What, what, you know, what amount of momentum there. Okay, so these are our first bandits. They're not well armed. They've got gambesons. They've got some shields. Looks like they're hitting each other. Boy, that is a powerful scroll. I'm going to get back out of cinematic. Now I can scroll. Or, nope, I can't. Wow. Anyway, they're hitting each other with sticks over here or clubs or something. I see clubs there. I don't see any swords. Might be an axe or two in there. Otherwise, yeah, there's an axe. Or no, that's a mace. Now, if I really slowly scroll in, there we go. What is that thing? It actually looks like a little sledgehammer. It looks round. Anyway, here are our first enemies. Now, if we let multiple of these get on the map, then this guy over here is going to go after them. And we won't get the benefit of taking them out. And there is a lot of benefit to that. Now, we've got our first addition to the town which means two more soldiers potentially we've got now still just 10 of so why is that interesting 10 of um we've still got 
Oh, I see. We've got 10 shields and 10 spears left that have not been claimed yet. So this last house, um, right here, and yeah, people. No. I don't know. Why didn't that add to our numbers? That's kind of surprising. We do have six families. Um, right there. We've got six families. We've got 12 men and six women. And yet it's not registering that we're at 12 here. Maybe some are boys and they, they're not old enough to qualify. That might be a thing. Okay. Um, where are we at? We are at still 13 planks. What am I missing here? There is somebody assigned. And we're not doing much. Now, I have had in my practice game situations to where nothing was happening. And I would wander over to find out what's going on. And they would be just kind of standing here, walking into the side of the house and stuck. Or into some other thing. You are They're all waiting. So what I found is if I were to unassign and reassign, it kind of resets everybody. That might be a thing here. So people who same group right same group and we're still waiting so why are we not because we don't have an ox available the ox is being used to go work on on construction i'll bet you that is it let's try that you are no longer committed to the logging camp now you're available to go and grab a, a log and bring it over to here uh, I'll bet you that has something to do with it. Everything has got to move by ox, and when you don't have that many, it really makes a difference. Did we ever get anything planted over here? We're planting. Look at that. There we go. Starting to put in something. Looks like little carrots. It does. They'll get, they'll get a variety of vegetables in here. Ah, look at that. Another carrot patch. And we started something up yeah. The carrots or that beets? Yeah, it does look like the same thing. Same graphic. I think I've seen set different graphics in, in the different uh, fields in here, but this one seems to be the same one all the way through. Interesting. Maybe it all starts off the same, but becomes something else. <laughs> okay, so you are a thing. You have been moved. All right. And you're another two in order to get you upgraded which could be done it could be done because that leaves us at at 11 and two more logs will give us 21 okay so let's put two families in here and make this happen and two families in here and make this happen no more constructing outside of it let's just bring all of the oxen back over here and get the wood industry going we will do that um, lightning storm going on. What else needs to be done? Not much that I can think of right now. We're just really just a waiting game. So let's kick the speed up a little bit and get those logs and planks worked on. I know I've been chipping away at the planks while I've been doing this, but I kind of want to do multiple things all at once. Ah, we've got stocks damaged by weather. Wait a minute here. What's outside that can get damaged? You are... Oh, well, it's just firewood, but... That's right. So, and it, it's, it's visible too. So, this one? Yeah. So, here. There, supposedly there is some firewood sitting there. Yeah, I can click on it. It doesn't give me a quantity, so maybe it's just one. And it's invisible, so it's down under the dirt. And it's going to spam us with messages until somebody goes to pick it up bring it over here they didn't do it because they had their supplies over here so close they didn't need to um i'm noticing that we don't have a lot of trees coming out of here yet so your storage is full okay well let's do boy i want to make sure though to maintain positive here so we can get to the family next month that's really important at this stage but i would really like to get this guy stocked right here. Let's pull somebody out of one of these. Uh, out of timber, out of logs. Right there. Pull a family out of there. Let's get you into here and get supplies being brought, brought in from wherever. In fact, let's pull the other one out of there too and get hunting going again so we get more leather going. 
Let's do that. You're over here. Yeah, get you going again. We have some meat left over here. That needs to be hauled in by a family running. Yeah, the granary needs to be manned as well. Yeah, so much to do with so few families. We have seven families trying to do everything right now. Um, still no planks. Okay, what are you guys up to? Why is this happening? Why are you sitting at home? I don't know that answer. Interesting. We could... Let's let's go another route then. We tried freeing up the oxen. Let's give you your own ox for a while and see what that can do. Okay. General. So we have to wait apparently for an ox to suddenly be available. Or whatever course they're running at the moment. So what does that mean? Tab and... Oops. Wrong keys. Where are the... Where are they? Swinging around. Got one over here. I cannot hold that tab down and do this. You're just sitting there. Interesting. You were probably a logging family, and I, I moved them. <laughs> there are consequences to changing your mind. The other one's over here. Let's go see what that means. You too were a out there logging trees or something. And let's see, tab. You're way down here. Oh, you were down here. Dragging a log over to... Yeah. You were... Actually, these... Oh, they do take one log each. Okay, I thought they were just digging. But now I guess there is some wooden structures in there. Okay, well that stalled us a little bit while people are, are going off to go pick up the... Let's see, tab. To go pick up the oxen. Let's roll out a little bit. Somebody got a hold of you. I take it we've got to move you back to the stable to reset you. And then we'll send you off to wherever you need to go. You going to do the same thing? Um, no, you're still abandoned. Someone will come pick you up soon. But this one is on its way. And are we going to pick up the log? I wonder if it just magically teleported. It probably did. So you are going where now? Hopefully you are going to load up a saw pit. Let's see what happens. You are... You, I think you are, but you're going to go well into the woods... Now, can I click on you? Let's slow down. I'm curious. Oops, slow down. Move over. Click you. And people... No, none of these people are in there. You're going home. <laughs> okay. So then there's nobody running this one. Who is running you? I don't know. Let's see if it's changed. Is there now somebody? People... You're guiding an ox, but there isn't... Oh, do I have to click in here? No. There isn't a yellow line to him. That's what what uh, caught me. Interesting. So, it's everybody but the one who's actually working. I wonder why that is. Huh. All the little nuances of a brand new game where they're still working out some of the details. That was quite a swing. That was impressive there. And uh, Endress, yes. So we still have unassigned families, so there's things to do and there's no one to do it. But we're finally going to get somebody in here to, I believe it's crafting right there. Okay, so we get that going. Turn you back up again and race you over there, make some planks. And you are hopefully going to go get another log. You are going back to rest. Under construction. So you're sitting there. Hopefully one of the other members of those two families goes to pick them up and grabs another log soon and saving just happened all right she's going to come in here and oh she cuts from above i thought she cut from below interesting okay that's done dropped it off over there we are at 16 and soon someone's going to drag another log over we're going to get that one done so we did put somebody in here and they have been hauling firewood like crazy let's do this people Transporting. So, slow down. So, again, no yellow lines. I wonder why at some points we do and other points we don't. Let's go to the house. So, from the house, we get yellow lines. And you are transporting planks. Storehouse. So, you're bringing planks over. Okay. You're transporting hides. And you are transporting planks. Interesting. 
I think I would have preferred that you were leaving the planks there and doing something else. We can take the planks right over to the uh, construction site, but maybe we can't. I don't know. We'll see. I'm pretty sure, though, they can pull them right out of the saw pit. But, again, get you going and just keep this guy racing till we get to 20 planks. I don't have a whole lot more I can do right now unless I pull somebody out to start building on things. And, and we'll do that just as soon as we get the church up and running, or at least uh, get it positioned. Otherwise, I think, yeah, I think looking into the town with all these trees gone, all the farm fields in here, at the church... Right over here. I think that is our goal. Are we there? Or we're not there. Church. House. Church. So if we were to position you. Oh, we have a log in the way. <laughs> How many times in Ostrov did we deal with that? Yeah. And I don't have a little button that says, hey, guys, come get this. Okay. So what's it going to take to get that log moved? Um, I guess just patiently talking about it. Yeah, there we go. Are we there? We're not there yet. Are we there yet? No, we're not there yet. All right, so that road is in. That looks good. What else can we pre-plan? And we can certainly notice that we have autumn colors coming in. Look at the at the at the landscape off in the distance too. Everything's starting to change. I was really hoping we'd have more families in here by by now. Well. Okay, now it's working. Two per, it's 14, and we're at 14. Okay. I do want to wait till we get to 20 before we make that first attack. So I've, I've done it, I've practiced it at 17 and at 19, and I always lose somebody. And I'd like to tell these families that all their family members are going to be coming back after we go and attack that bandit camp. So I want to give us at least the advantage of having a, having a full regiment of 20, or at least are full, meaning we only have 20 weapons at the moment. Full one is actually 36. All right, so we're still running fast. We are new mercenary companies. Uh, stocks damage. Mercenary companies. We've not dealt with that yet. Am I... Wow, we're there. Mercenary companies. If I click on that, nothing happens. Armies. We can add to. We start making bows and we start making pole arms and other... Or heavier uh, uh, weaponry we can set these other ones up or we could take the money that we don't have and hire the mercenaries that are available at the time and they've each got their own interesting descriptions and how much it's going to cost for each month that you've got them so this gets quite expensive if you're looking at a three-month campaign and you know you're hiring these guys you better have 270 in the coffers just for them let alone everything else you're going to do. War is expensive. You need to realize that. Okay, so we are able to put in the church now. Let's think seriously about that. And while we're thinking about it, now let's let those families do just a little bit more before we take them off into, into building mode. Or they'll start building something down there. Um, church is under housing right there. Right there. So we have all that we need. And... Pull back a little bit. Something like that. Where is that? How does that feed into the road system? Okay. So just this side of that T right there. Something like that. And off a little bit. Sure. Now there are multiple entrances to the fence around it. Facing the town. Meaning the staples on the steeples on that end. So I think that will work just fine. You're going to go there. We're going to road into you. I'll wait till the fencing's up. Just like we waited till this was done to put the roads in. I'm going to do the same thing here. But let's make you the highest priority. And let's get two or three families doing that. So take all of you off. You're all off there. Let's... Hello. There you are. Let's take you off. And let's... Let's transfer you from there there I say you some family took the, took the job but let's get more of the meats and other things drawn in we need to get the uh, the uh, hunting back up and going in though it still says we have 12 months of food that will go down as we get more families coming in it's gonna, proportionally it'll change um, we got rid of no we didn't 
That's right, we still have the same families running all these, so we haven't sacrificed our stalls yet. I was thinking we did when I moved this up and around, but no, we've still got the forager going. We've got the, uh, um, who was the other one? It was the tanner, and it was the firewood, the, the woodcutter's camp. Okay, so we still have our three stalls going. We still have the best that we can get out of this. Okay, boy, I would love to get more housing in. There is that, but the church is needed to, and we could put that off for a while and just build houses. So there is that, and that actually would probably be smarter. If you're doing this for yourself, I want to get us to where we're capable of hitting uh, level two quite quickly, which means filling in that last tick. But we could have put all that effort into getting another 20, 30 houses in all at level one and had an army. So that's probably the wiser way to have done that. And in hindsight, I think I would have probably gone that route instead. But I would like to see this church done. So we've got two families ready to start building, speed things up a little bit. Um, let's watch this family do their thing. Yeah, they're out there collecting all the foods. So I didn't even think about the Foresters. Forester, yeah, we've been sitting there at full all this time. That's, that was a mistake. So we should have employed the granary a lot sooner than we did. We actually lost a lot of our uh, gathering capability this summer as a result. So that is unfortunate. But we are back to where I was. Where are you guys? There you are. Peoples. So we are drawing in from the meat. We're drawing in from the berries. That's all that goes here. Right. There'll be grain eventually from the wheat or the emmer. But, all right, so you guys are going to draw into here. And you can see what we're starting to draw. We still have four bread after all this time, which is nice. Now, what I've heard is that, well, no, I take that back. For supplies like clothing, once they've stocked it, that's all they need for the life of the family. The game isn't consuming a lot of the goods yet. But food, it should consume. So I'm kind of surprised the bread is still there after all this time. Um, two families are working on the church. And I wanted to get a third one, but I think I'm going to just leave those those folks in the granary for a while. Stolen by nearby bandits, 14 firewood. Ouch. Okay. They snuck into somewhere. How did they get over here, though? <laughs> yeah, they dressed up as one of our uh, our villagers and just walked in and pretended they were stocking their house or something yeah so we're gonna get this guy built the colors are getting even deeper for for autumn much much redder much browner you should see a lot of leaves falling yeah and it it doesn't just shift in in jerks and in spasms it very gradually starts to uh, to move into the seasons kind of like that got a be paying attention when we go from winter to spring. Curious to see how the leaves start to form from what I'm assuming are going to be a bunch of pretty bare looking trees. Um, so, church is going in. Where am I at now? I'm probably in that 50 or so mark, so I think it's going to time out pretty good. Where does the tavern go? It's another big building, big, you know, central or community kind of building that uh, that needs to be placed in a good spot. We're going to spread out into here, then we're going to spread out down into here. Tavern may be there, though there will be houses through here. So off to an end, and off to an end. We've kind of grabbed that spot and this spot. So if we did it, it would be here. Or now we're going to be farming through here, so that's not available. That's not available. These aren't. Those aren't. Do we get into there? That might do it. Closer to the industrial area. Kind of like that. Let's tell you guys to move your area of influence a little bit more into this area. We're still not too close to the animals. And we're going to start clearing for the clay. Alright, so you're going to be right there. And I've noticed as you move around, well, until I'm trying to make it happen. Nope. There we go. At some point, the trees all start to change. And I don't know if that means something or if that's just a graphical era. Error. That's what I'm trying to spit out. Um, it might just be that. Anyway, we're going to set you right there. Church, 
is happening behind us or we're not paying attention let's speed this up a little bit and just kind of let them do their thing winter is approaching probably an ominous message connected to that but we'll, we'll go chase that down here in a little while October got some rain coming in so we can kind of see. Can I get inside the building? I can. Uh, can I get down lower? Can I do this? Where am I? Let's jog you into there and see if I can still walk through a door. Once the door closes, I don't think you can get inside. And I don't know what happens to me if I'm inside and the door closes. I can't jump. Nope, I'm stuck. Oh, 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 oh. Nope, will not let me in. Okay, so that doesn't work. Yeah, they're going to make sure you don't get trapped. Anyway, looking at the symbols painted on the on the side of the of the planks there, side of the walls. It already looks weathered and old. Wow. Yeah, that might be better in this mode. No, it doesn't work that way. Pull out a cinematic. No, that isn't cinematic. Escape. Well, now I'm back inside. Now cinematic. Really? Now? There we go. So, it's a little limited. Don't let you uh, trap yourself internally. Almost done. You can see the entrances through the, uh, the fence line in different, different directions. You can get to the church from multiple ways. Now, speed things up. No, I think they're done. I think they're done. Okay. Pull out of that. Do we have a church? We have a church. And what did I click on? I have no idea. But we have a church. And winter is approaching. There is no message with that. Okay. So we've got a church. And we do not need to put a family in there. You need to when you are burying your own. Otherwise, I don't believe they will do much. There was talk of them planting carrots, but i never seen evidence of that, so I don't think that's real. Now, we do have the ability to change the sound of the bell. So we can switch to... <laughs> you know, I kind of like that one. Yeah... Let's go that route. We're, we're not a rich community. We couldn't afford a, a really good bill. We're lucky to even have a building that big for a church. All right, so that is in. And what is next? We've got two families and the tavern. We we're talking about that. Where does the tavern go? What does the tavern cost? It is just logs. It could go in, but, well, but let's see it at least. We'll do that. Uh, construction finish hit, hit, hitching post. Okay, um, the tavern. And if you've ever played Kingdom Come Deliverance, it looks so much like the taverns you see in there. It really does. Tanneries over there. Nobody's going to want to drink beer next to a tannery. Okay, that might help me make my decision. So I don't know exactly where this is going to go, but... It will go in the next episode or two, and we'll get to see what that looks like. It's only five logs to build it. But next, I do need to get more housing in. That is going to be quite important. So let's just set that up before this episode's over. You are right there. Let's swing it in from this side. Let's put a road in. That's right. We were fighting that before. So a road. Let's just angle a road kind of through. Actually kind of straight, and then you curve... And curve, and like that, and then you go into there. And that didn't harm the trees. Okay, so from there, do we want the houses to pull from here? No, we want the houses to pull from here because the market's down here. Okay, so you, housing, we're going to draw across, click, click. There it is. Right there. And we're going to subtract. To what point? 
This one doesn't get a backyard. That's okay. They don't all have to have one. Backyard meaning, you know, a an industry of some kind added to them. Um, this gives us some double housing. Actually, most of it is. Tiny little ones, too. Let's do that. And we can expand later if we need to. If we start running out of room at some point, we can start doubling up. Let's do that. You are next, and I need to get you guys in. So very highs through here. And then, actually, now let's get this guy in first, highest. He's the smallest. Theoretically, it'll build faster. Don't know if that's true or not. Anyway, are we done this time or for this episode? I think I am. I think I'm real close to that one hour mark. Um, church is in. And I think the next goal is just to start building up our population. We're 60%. No, 68%. Yeah, so people are, are, are kind of happy right now. That's good. So hopefully we'll be able to fill these in quite quickly. Do we have extra houses? We have five extra houses at the moment. Really? Let me think about that. Is it counting these already? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think that's true. So somehow it's, it's bringing these into that calculation. So I guess there's one, two, three. Yeah, it is five. I thought it was six. So it's five that are to be built. There's seven plots. There's eight houses for seven families. Okay, so we can absorb one more family before these are built. We're not lagging behind yet. That's what I needed to know. Okay, so with that, I think we're going to call this one done. I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye now.